God bless you. God bless you all there, YouTube spiritual cyberspace land out there. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. New prophecy from the throne room today. Prophecy on Antichrist Obama is a Muslim. President Obama is the first Muslim president of the United States. And uh, this comes straight from the throne room because I got something President Obama for you. I want you to read later on here when I read Exodus. Uh, chapter 20, verses 1 through 6. Meditate on this, President Obama. We know you're a closet Muslim because the National Day of Prayer 1952 started and you closed the door in the face of the Christian in 2009. And, and on a National Day of Prayer, the Christians ain't welcome in the White House for you having a National Day of Prayer. But then we had judgment come on the land, President Obama, because you're from Illinois, we're in the land of Lincoln here, 2009, when you took the prayer out of the White House to have this National Day of Prayer, that we suffered in southern Illinois, that was a terrible, strong uh, windstorm, that was disaster. President Obama, we want you to come to southern Illinois. You haven't set foot in it since you've been President of the United States. Three and a half years, you didn't come on that disaster. And then 2010, you didn't have a National Day of Prayer. But every year, 2009, you had the Muslim uh, door was open in the White House. You had Ramadan. You had the Muslims in the White House, but you forgot the Christian. President Obama, we are not a Muslim nation. United States of America is a Christian nation. And then President Obama, 2011, a strike two in Southern Illinois. Down Carroll, Illinois, your black brother suffered. They got wiped off the map. They broke the records of Ohio River, Mississippi River with this terrible disaster of a flood, a 500-year flood. President Obama, you didn't set foot in Southern Illinois. President Obama, we want you to come to Southern Illinois. We pray for you, President Obama. We don't agree what you do, but we pray for you, President Obama. Strike two, President Obama. And 2012, you didn't have a National Day prayer in the White House again. You're snubbing the God of Israel. You're snubbing Jesus, the Savior, and Messiah. And now when a terrible drought, uh, President Obama, Southern Illinois, please come and look at the farmers are suffering. The corn is burning up. The soybeans are about gone. The people suffered. You know, Egypt. We're in Egypt. Just like Egypt, Africa, Southern Illinois here. And Pharaoh Obama, let us... Let our people go free from your Muslim agenda, President Obama. There's the word of the Lord today. And you just had another Ramadan in, in the White House, President Obama. 2012. The Christians ain't welcome, but you open the doors, open arms to your Muslims. But President Obama, you're being deceived. Uh, Allah is a false God. The true God is the God of Israel. Uh, Jesus is the true prophet. Muhammad is a false prophet. And this goes for all the Muslims over the world today. The uh, prayer of Jesus Christ, the Savior, Messiah, God of Israel, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East. I pray, God, you do a miracle and convert the Muslims. There's some mighty revolutions and revivals. There's a lot of Muslims coming to the Lord because they see that it's a false religion. That's not the true relationship like Jesus Christ. And a mighty harvest. Oh, President Obama, have mercy on uh, uh, Jesus on him. All the United States is in travail. Our food crops uh, are going to be high. The food prices are going to be rising. We're going to have a black Christmas 2012. There's not going to be enough corn. President Obama, you need to, on the ethanol, you need to waver that where we're wasting half our corn on the fuel gasoline. We need a President Obama for our cattle and our pigs and, and our milk cows. Oh, President Obama, and for our, our chickens, this is a drought in land. This is famine in land. President Obama, judgments come on the land because your Muslim agenda. And oh, God, uh, do a miracle here. We need a miracle. And President Obama, right now, you're the Antichrist too, and you're the first Muslim United States president. This is for you, President Obama. If you're watching this video, open your Spiritual ears and listen to what the Lord thy God has to say. He, this is the Ten Commandments that he gave to Moses 3,400 years ago. The Ten Commandments, the moral law on the land. And President Obama, this message is for you.
in the Holy Bible, Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 6. And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, and thou shalt have no other God before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything. I feel the power of God coming down on you. If you're watching this video, President Obama, all you Muslims in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, Jesus coming down. He's putting conviction on you. Holy Ghost, he wants to save your soul to get out of that false uh, religion. The, the Muslim religion, this is your, this is your time, this is your destiny. I feel the power of God. Thank you for your anointing, Jesus. Thank you, God, for your presence. Thank you for your Holy Ghost and power. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children until the third and fourth generations. We're talking a generation is 40 years. Third generation, that's 120 years, and the fourth generation is 160 years. Of them that hate me, and showing mercy upon thousands of them that love me, and keep my commandments. And may the Lord thy God had his blessing upon his word. This is your time. This is the important message. And some of you are Muslims, you've been debating this about the Christian faith. We love you. We go the extra mile. We pray for you. And the Muslims, you want to kill the Christians. You want to behead us. You call us infidels. But for your evil, we return good. The love of Jesus, I pray today, Lord Jesus, that the hand of the Lord go upon North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East. And the Muslim people, I love the Arab people, I love the Muslim people, I don't love what they do, killing the Christians and killing instant people and making their uh, women like uh, regular property, like animals. This is your time to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Say this prayer with me. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus will come in, forgive you for your sins and save your soul. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, I come to you today. Save many Muslims today, I pray. God, this is the urgent message of 911, the spiritual message from the throne room of God in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East. Save your Muslims today around the world. Red, white, yellow, black. For the glory be to God, brown in Jesus' name. And this is the time. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus. I accept you as my personal Savior. Lord Jesus, thank you for forgiving me for my sins. Jesus, I repent from the Muslim faith in Jesus' holy name. Amen, amen. I'm born again. My name's written in the last book of life. When I die, I'm going to heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the hundreds, the thousands, the millions of Muslims that come to Jesus Christ today. I praise your holy name. Glory be to God. Give Jesus the best hand clap. And like George and Betty Kelly on YouTube channel, that some of you born again Muslims that accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior today, you're no more Muslims. You're Christian. You're Christ-like. And, and Jesus' holy name, this is your hour. This is your time. Go on profile. Email us. We want to rejoice with the good news for you. For the glory be to God. Maybe your family reject you, but Jesus will never reject you. This is your greatest hour. A mighty move. This is a mighty revival. The word of the Lord for 2012. He's comfort converting hundreds and thousands of millions of Muslims to the Christian faith. For the glory be to God. We love you today. Pray for me and Betty Kelly, Alicia Kelly, Lisa Butter Ministry, Pinckneyville, Illinois. We'll be praying for you. And Jesus loves you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Consecrate it, dedicate, commit, sanctify. This video, for the glory be to God. We love you today. We shout it from the mountaintops, from the valleys. Oh, Lord Jesus, thank you for being so good to us. You're coming back soon, Jesus. You're ready to turn in soon, Jesus. We see the front page newspapers, the headline, Bible prophets being fulfilled. The pagans are reading it and writing and doing realize that you're using the world to let your Bible prophets to be fulfilled. For the glory be to God, on TV, on radio, on the internet, in newspapers. Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.